In this video, we are going to find real numbers x and y such that x squared plus y squared plus x plus y equals 12 and xy plus x plus y equals 3. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. I'm going to solve for x and y with two approaches. The first approach is that notice I can divide these two equations into multiple parts such that each part can be written as either in terms of x plus y or together with x y. In fact, if I let a equals x plus y, b equals x y, then I can already express the yellow parts in terms of either a and or b for the three parts that I've ticked, while for the last part, x squared plus y squared is actually a squared minus b squared. So the system becomes a squared minus 2b plus a equals 12. And for the other equation, it's simply a plus b equals 3. Now for the second equation, I'm going to write b equals 3 minus a. So I'm going to put this into the first equation. And so we have a squared minus 2 times 3 minus a plus a equals 12. And simplifying, we have a quadratic equation about a. And we can solve for a. And we have a equals 3 or a equals minus 6. For each corresponding solution, we have b equals 0 or b equals 9. So now we have two systems. One is that for real numbers x and y, the sum is 3 and the product is 0. For the other system, the sum is minus 6 and the product is 9. For each system, I can say x and y are roots to different quadratic equations. For the first system, it would be z squared minus 3z equals 0. And z equals 0 or 3. And so that means for x and y, they can be either 3, 0 or switch in the position 0 or 3. Whereas for the other system, I can do the same, but on the equation z squared plus 6z plus 9 equals 0, which gives z equals minus 3 only. So xy has to be both equal to minus 3. My second approach is that notice if I label these two equations. Now for equation 2, I double both sides. I have 2xy plus 2 times x plus y, which equals to 6. Then I can add this to the first equation. And I have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared plus 3 times x plus y. And that equals to 18. Now for the first three terms, we can actually factorize and get x plus y all squared. So somehow we have a quadratic equation about x plus y much more directly. And so x plus y is either minus 6 or 3. And we can obtain the solution for x, y. The possible values are either 9 or 0. So the steps can repeat just like what happened in the first approach. And so altogether, we can say that x, y is either 3, 0 or 0, 3 or both equal to minus 3. So this is the final answer. Please feel free to share your ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.